In today's episode, you will learn how to set up your SSH network using PuTTY. The major advantage of using the SSH network is that you can access your Raspberry Pi or a Wi-Fi network using your laptop. It doesn't matter which operating system is installed on your laptop. Currently on my laptop, I'm using Windows 10. With the help of the SSH network, you can program your Raspberry Pi wirelessly. You can run programs, you can create folders, you can delete files and so on. By default, the SSH connection on the Raspberry Pi 3 is disabled. So that's why when you connect with your Raspberry Pi using PuTTY, you get a network connection refused error. Now to fix this error, first of all, make sure that your Raspberry Pi is connected with an LCD through an HDMI cable. And also make sure keyboard and mouse are also connected. Now turn on your Raspberry Pi and LCD and wait for a while. Click on the Wi-Fi and select your Wi-Fi router. I have already connected my Raspberry Pi. Now to enable the SSH connection, simply click on the Applications menu. Preferences and then click on the Raspberry Pi configuration. In the Raspberry Pi configuration, click on the interfaces. As you can see, the SSH is disabled. Simply enable the SSH and click OK. And that's it. Now let's find the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. We have different methods for this. The first one is by simply floating the mouse cursor over the Wi-Fi. As you can see, the IP address is 192.168. Point eight point one zero four. The second method is by opening the terminal window. Type ifconfig and enter. And you can see the same IP address. The third method is by opening your router setting page on your laptop. You can check the IP address. So now that we know about the IP address and also we have enabled the SSH connection. Now it's time to download the PuTTY software. Open your internet browser and type www.putty.org. You can download the Putty software. I have already downloaded this software. The link is given in the description. Open the Putty software. Enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and then click Open. Username is Pi. Password is Raspberry. As you can see, we are logged in. Now we can wirelessly control Raspberry Pi. Let's open the folder Electronic Clinic. For now, let's run these two programs. While in the upcoming tutorial, I will show you how to write programs using Python. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.